Okay, I'm just start with Yambo Williams. From Chess Academy Nairobi coach. And uh, thank God that uh, God has been on our side mm -hmm. uh, since we started uh, Chess for the Marginalized. Uh, that is in Kuru, Panchenga in Nairobi. Okay. And uh, when far we are running a uh, chess in 14 schools. Okay. When when did uh, some chess start? Some chess uh, is 10 years old mm -hmm. in Kuru, but uh, we started chess three years ago. Okay. Yeah. So what was it doing before? Uh, before we. Uh, Mostly we were doing sports, mm -hmm. uh, that's we, we were doing soccer and volleyball yeah, as a tool of reaching out. Because you know our vision is, uh, our vision is to use sports as a tool of reaching out. Okay. So what are some of the challenges that you've faced over this period of uh, playing chess, the last three years? Okay, for the last three years, uh, when we started, you know, we didn't have the boards. And uh, it was a bit difficult to train chess, and uh, we even improvised some boards so that we can be able to start the game uh, in, the, in, the, in the slides. Uh, later on, uh, uh, some organization, sports outreach organization, uh, helped us with some boards, and uh, we were able uh, to expand the program in different schools. And up to now, some is still supporting the chess, uh, the chess uh, for the marginalized in the slum areas. And even we have expanded to Kibera. So the challenges that we have as for now mm -hmm. is just maybe the, the boards for all the schools. Because we don't have enough boards for all the schools that we are running chess. These are the challenges you face while with the general organization or just for the slum kids, the whole organization. Yeah, I think it's just uh, for the whole organization because, you know, uh, the organization is the one that uh, has the program of this year. Mm. Yeah, so it's the one that, uh, uh, it's the one that amasses the resources and brings them down to the ground so that we can be able to use uh, to uh, make chess grow in Okay. So uh, another challenge is time. Because, you know, getting time with these kids also is a problem. Yeah, because most of the time you realize that from school the parents want them back at home and uh, parents also do not appreciate, do not appreciate the chess game because uh, it is not in the curriculum. Mm. So it's like they are telling us that we are wasting the kids' time, time uh, they are not seeing the, like, uh, they are not benefits. appreciating that uh, we are running the program and it will benefit these kids yeah, because they don't know the benefits of chess. Kids, uh, but we have tried to enlighten them, and some of them have accepted, uh, and they are working with us, and that's why you can see that uh, these kids are doing well. Yeah, any other problem? Doing well. Uh, any uh, the other problem is that uh, most of these kids at their homes, uh, some of them have got no food, and you realize that uh, it is always hard to watch a child on an empty stomach. So you realize that with that. It hampers our our program, whereby at times we keep up the training sessions because of uh, maybe lack of food. But I know that if we had food, as it would have been easier, we can be able to help the kids and also have the food so that at least uh, we use long hours, even if it's one day. Okay. So, like, what's the main objective of some Kenya? Yeah, the main objective of some Kenya is to uh, to empower and nurture the talents of the youth so that uh, uh, they can be able to use it in their lifetime. Uh, so what I mean is that uh, a child has got an inborn ability and it is up to someone to reach them so that they can bring out that ability and that's what we are after to bring out that ability in a child so that he can be able uh, to know his talent and also uh, to use it while he or she is still alive. Okay. And uh, like uh, with the three years that uh, some Kenya has been uh, practicing chess, 
what are like some of the advancements that you guys have made that you see like have actually made an impact on the country's uh, level of chess? Okay, the impact that we have made in chess uh, in this country is that uh, so many kids now are playing chess in school, and uh, if we would have been, uh, if we would have started that program in Kuru, then maybe those kids would have missed it. So uh, we have nurtured the kids in the slum, and uh, right now you can see they are playing well. And uh, as you can see, when we have got a winner in under 12 categories here at Mukaimosi, they are playing the nationals, and also uh, others have done well. We have got a safe team who has also is number two in under 14 category boys and under, under 14 boys category and uh, others also have performed well uh, in our group of 14 that we came with so uh, at least with that you can see that uh, we have made an impact whereby these kids who have just been there at least now they are playing nationally and uh, as per now we can say that uh, Sarah has qualified to play internationally Yes, yes, yes. Even though last year she couldn't make it to Egypt due to passport problems, but this year, because now we are the hosts, she will be able to participate in the internationals come August. Ah, yeah, that's nice. a great impact. So, 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 like, um, what are some of the, um, what are some of the obstacles that you have seen, uh, like your children have been facing in the national youth schools chess championship? What are some of like the things that you've seen that they're, they're struggling with that needs like improvement? Because if you're their coach, there must be things that you're seeing yes. which you see here then needs to be an adjustment or here you can do better. What are some of those things? Okay, uh, for my team, what I can say that uh, we didn't face so many obstacles uh, because you know uh, the planning on the ground was quite okay able to get food, a place to sleep, uh, but the only problem uh, came maybe in the games, whereby you realize that there are some coaches who are maneuvering or who are maneuvering in the chess rooms or where the children are playing, and it's like they wanted to give their children an added advantage over others. So I think that was not quite okay, and we should be able to refrain from that because it demoralizes the chess players. Okay. And uh, where do you see uh, some in the next 10 years? Uh, some in the next 10 years will be somewhere. I know that uh, 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 we have hit the ground hard and uh, where we are heading to, I know that uh, we are uh, going to have so many kids on board. Because right now we have got more than 600 children who are playing chess in Kuru Kwachenga. And uh, as time goes by and as we get more equipment, uh, we know that we are going to reach uh, so many other schools because uh, uh, so that more children benefit from the program and uh, I would like to call on board uh, donors who can be able to assist us maybe get the chess equipment so that we can be able to enroll in other schools so yeah, so where we are heading to I can see the light at the end of the tunnel many kids playing chess and becoming international masters craft masters and it will be quite okay okay so, so what's, what's the total number of kids in the whole program? So, yeah, the total number of kids right now in the whole program, uh, in the schools where we are partner, uh, which we are partnering with, uh, is more than six hundred. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is there... And uh, maybe also I would like to take this time uh, to invite them because we will be having a, our annual uh, tournament. Some Chess Academy tournament this year, and uh, this tournament is always open to the children from slum areas. So we call it Chess for the Marginalized. Yeah, so I think it will be a quiet time uh, whereby they come and show up their talents, and uh, I think it will be okay. Because uh, last year we had 200 kids who participated, but this year at least we are sure it will be more, they will be more than. 600 or 400 and above. Okay. And do you think uh, some some Kenya can work with uh, Lighthouse Chess Club in this program? Not just you know to get a bigger outreach. 
since we're all based in different locations. So just as just Kenya, we have been liaising with uh, uh, as some Kenya we have been liaising with Chess Kenya. Uh, like example, in last last year's Kenya National Chess Championship, uh, which was done at uh, Comfort Suite in Nairobi, uh, Chess Kenya assisted us by subsidizing the registration fee, and we were able to participate. And uh, that was quite okay for us, because you know finances at times limits our uh, our mm -hmm. coverage or the area of coverage or what we can be able to do uh, to these children. But as we get the support from the federation, it has really helped us. And uh, the same with Mini Chess Kenya, it has really supported us because with them also they donated to us some boards, which has gone a long way to help the children in those respective schools. So, any final words, just a message to people? So, uh, my final words are today is that, you know, I'm so much happy uh, to be in Kaimosi and uh, for my children to have performed well and uh, I know that these children, uh, they have a great future. Uh, all participants who participated in this tournament, uh, we congratulate you, either you won or you lost. With, uh, with chess we don't lose but we do learn so it was a learning spree and uh, just keep it up it will be, uh, it's quite okay so I would like just to appreciate for the organization uh, because uh, it was well organized and everything ran well and I can say that seeing such an end for sure we do turn around so I would like also to encourage uh, chess players out there that don't give up because uh, you never know what God created you for. Maybe this is the talent that God gave unto you, and you will use it to affect so many lives. So be encouraged and keep it up. May God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. And uh, have a good day. Thank you, sir.